Okay, let's modernize this code. So here's our code in SEU. Um, the only way that we're possibly going to modernize this is by editing the source member. We could say, right, we want this to be a proper free format program. We're gonna tug everything over to the left. Um, we know that no main would be control dash option. Um, and so on and so on. Oops, straight away, SEU throws out some errors, even though this is completely valid RPG because SEU was discontinued years ago by IBM. It doesn't understand the syntax checking. It understands this years old RPG, but if I drag this over to the left, it now highlights it as an error because it only understands column-based code, even though this is completely legit. So let's forget the IDE, uh, SEU, and let's jump into the same code over in RDI. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch my theme back to dark. So go to preferences, go to theme, select color themes, and I'm just gonna do default dark, that's how I like it. Don't ask me why I like it light in SEU land and dark in IDE land. I don't know, it's just how I like it. Anyway, here's our code that we just pasted in from that example. Um, pretty cool, right? I wanna make this free, I wanna make this modern free format code. You can see how painful this is going to be in SEU. I'm gonna to have to go each individual line and make changes. I'm gonna to have to type what the new versions of each of these fields are. However, within Visual Studio Code, I simply right click in the body and say, look, convert to free format. I love this function. Convert to free. Wow, there's our code in modern free format. So compare it, look how this old fashioned column based code, defining P interactive, it's exporting, it's receiving one variable. In free format, it's declare procedure, P interactive with an export, declare a program interface, P interactive, returning an indicator variable. Um, define a format field that's eight, it's declare S format character eight. This is define a receiver variable length of 10 integer. Here is declare S receiver. It's just much, much nicer code, way easier to read and right click, done. You'll notice a couple of these fields are highlighted, and this is Visual Studio Code telling me there's things about this it doesn't like. It tells me at the, at the side here, incorrect indentation. So it likes comments to be over on the left-hand side of the code. Okay, I'm cool with that. It tells me incorrect indentation. Here it tells me variable name casing does not match definition. Like DS job data, you see that DS job data is in uppercase and DS job data up there is in other case. If I, put the, if I put the casings right, those warnings go away. It's not telling you that you're doing anything bad. Like here, for example, DS job data, because it's a lowercase d, and here I've defined it as an uppercase d, it's just telling you this isn't very good programming practice. Let me paste that in as well. And here, again, and it's telling me it's underlining receiver variable length is wrong casing. Pretty cool, huh? Now, how do I fix all these indents? I simply right click and say format document. Format document goes through, pulls all my, oops, sorry, smashes the microphone to pieces, pulls through all of the if, do, loops, indents everything correctly. And here we have, if not, a beautiful piece of RPG code. It's certainly a beautiful laid out piece of RPG code. Very readable, easily accessible, um, and modern. Easy for us RPG programmers to understand. Even easy, I bet if you come from the world of um, uh, JavaScript or C++ or Python or any other modern um, languages, even if you don't understand RPG, you could look at this code and have a good guess at what it's doing because it's very similar, just like other modern programming languages out there. That's that, Visual Studio Code for the win. So yeah, grab some old code and run it through the code converter. Um, perhaps I'll find a really old example and run that through the code converter now and see what it fails on because there are some really old funky RPG expressions 
that the code uh, refactor modernized tool doesn't understand. So it does all the ones it can. Anything it doesn't understand, it leaves you to manually put your programmer hat on and go in and write it in the correct format. So perhaps we'll do that next. But for now, that's it. Launch your version of VS Code, install code for IBMI, and have a play with code modernization. It's terrific.